Hello everyone, this is Don Jaimaha again back with a Treasurium AI Labs. Welcome back to our 10 crypto AI agents in 10 business days. Today we're going through day three. So yesterday, a quick recap on what did we go through yesterday was the gate AI agent, which we did a few questions. We show how it worked here with Telegram. But today we're going to be releasing the new BitGet AI agent. So this one directly interacts with the BitGet exchange. So you see here on markets, you come to spot. So you have access to all of this data here on the spot market. Instead of seeing it this way and interacting here or looking at it from here, you can take any one of these, you see open these up with a chart. Is going to follow the 10 AI crypto AI agents where they'll be able to pull all of this data instead of someone having to understand these charts or want to use this data to be able to make inferences or make decisions for trading in the future. We will use it through the AI agent. And here you can see our website on N8, our creator page. We have more workflows that you can come and download when you get a chance. Make sure you check that out support the page and download other ones and just look around see what else is available so the bitget ai agent i'm going to show you again as i've been doing how to string it up and get everything set up so once again you want to come over to github where you have github welcome to treasurium ai slash treasurium scroll down to repositories 10 crypto ai agents in 10 business days click there and you will be able to see here it's already here ready for you to download bitget ai agent come here click it and then you can hit download the raw file here it'll be saved once you have the file saved then essentially you can come here okay hit drive create a workflow and then what you want to do is you want to come here to import from file click import from file then we scroll down to the BitGet, uh, the one that we just downloaded. Okay, here we go. And the BitGet is ready. So now we want to get this set up. So we've got everything built out for everyone. Once you download it, the setup is already easy. It's only have to set up the Telegram, which I'll show you how to do. Again, uh, we we'll see here if you've been following. If you've already know how to do, you can just skip through problem so we go back here we want to get to the bot father here we go if some guys don't know just search we go back and search it in here bot father and telegram once again open that up and then we want to create one so let's go here hit the slash in here new bot we can type that what's the name so we're gonna call this the bit get AI agent okay here and once again we need to add the bot onto the end of it there we go okay so we're going to scroll bot okay bot there we go now that's been locked in of course this is the token again just copy this token Come back here, go to Telegram. Um, here we're going to hit create new credential. You're going to paste this access token in here. You want to change this so we can have this named bit get AI agent. Okay. Then we're going to save that. Once we save that, it's going to test it and we're going to verify that this one is set up. Okay. There we go set up now what we need to do save this and we need to go back to this telegram and we need to also select that one that we just saved so let's hit bit get, bit get. there we go and this one if you see is already turned off so we should be fine with that save it and now the last thing we need to do if you remember it's here in the user authentication we need to replace this if you don't replace this, you're going to keep trying to talk to it and it won't talk back to you. So now we can open this bot up. Okay. Start as here. We want to put the logo. How you do that? Very simple. Click on here. Edit. Here, I already actually 
grabbed a big get image earlier so we can put it in search bar. Put about whatever you need. Okay. There, that is done. So now we have our big get AI agent. So we just want to say, let's see, test for life. Once we click that, of course, when you execute, you see it'll start coming. But it'll get stuck here because, like we just said, you didn't put in the actual name, the username. So we're gonna come here, user ID, copy this from here on the chat ID, and then here use authentication, open that, and we're going to replace this. Okay, there we go. So it's been replaced. Let's save it. And now we've strung up the crypto AI agent, the big get crypto AI agent. Now we're ready to start interacting with the BitGet Exchange market information through our AI agent. Now, a little teaser will do something later on after the 10 days. We'll also show you guys how to use this for MCP abilities. So then you can use this to connect right into Claude, and then you can go to Claude and start accessing information with Claude from the BitGet. So you can also use it as a brain. There's several ways to set it up. But here, let's continue from here. Yeah, now let's check. Now let's see. Test your life. It should go through that we've saved it. Who are you? Let's just ask it. Who are you? Let's see what it says back. I am a big get spark market data agent. I can fetch and present market data for spot trading pairs available on the big get exchange. Okay. So there we go. Let's just try something out. Let's see, what is the 24 hour change for BNB? It's gonna go, it's gonna access that information. And here we go. The BNB Big Get Spot Price uh, price right now is $950 and the 24 hour change is 0.09%. See, that's pretty easy. Let's try something a little bit more complicated. Um, how about this? Let's test it to have it calculate technical indicators for us. I need you to calculate. Bollinger Bands and Simple Moving Average for Cardano for the 15 I can fetch the latest care for Cardano, but I do not perform technical analysis calculations like Bollinger Bands. I can provide you the raw data and you can then calculate. I have given you actually told it before to only get data and you understand why at the end of the 10 days when we're doing the live flow on why I did that but I did give it ability to calculate so it can pull the data here and it can actually perform the calculations for us okay There you go, calculations. Now, like I mentioned earlier, the reason it did have to ask it so much to get it done is because part of the system message, I told it only to pass data. 
because the calculations can be done by them if you want to make adjustments to the system message. But really, it's because of the process we're going to make at the end of the 10 days. We're only going to pull the data from these, these bots and we're going to do the calculations on another part. So that's just looking ahead for the future. So uh, there you go. We have more ways to interact with the uh, Biget Exchange. Thank you guys. I would like for you to like and follow. Look for us tomorrow on day four. We're going to be dropping another one of the top 10 crypto exchanges in the world's AI agent so that you can now start to access it directly yourself. You can use it as Legos in more workflows that you do. What I'm trying to do is complete all these systems here so that you can plug them together in different assortments to accomplish the different tasks that you want. But this uh, bring all the information like from Big Get just as an MCP would do. But it's pre-done. So thank you again. Follow us, like, subscribe, and please leave a comment. It really helps us with the algorithm to expand it to other people. And we look forward to seeing you again tomorrow on day four. Thank you and have a great day.